Praise and glory to the living God. So I am coming to you all with some dreams by Brother Amando, and I'm going to get right into this. So this first dream that he had was on December 24th, and he talked about how he doesn't celebrate Christmas. He celebrates the Feast of the Lord, and so he was at home, and he had this dream, and he said that he had a dream where he went back in time to Jerusalem, and he saw one of the apostles And this apostle was being persecuted. And he saw that this apostle had very dark skin and that he was very short. I have also seen John before. I talked about that in another video. And of course, I've seen Jesus Christ. The Lord showed me that I went back in time and saw that. I saw Jesus' mother and I've seen Paul before. I'll put some of the dreams that I had in the description box because I don't want to get into talking about it right now. This next dream that he had, he saw the Lord Jesus Christ and he said that the Lord was very skinny and he had long hair and he was upon a cloud. And before this dream, he had only seen the outline of the Lord. And once he had saw the Lord Jesus on his throne. However, in this dream, he saw that the Lord's face was covered in glory and he saw that the Lord's hands were the same color as his skin. And in the dream, he said that Jesus took his finger and jump-started his heart. And he went on to say that he will never forget this dream. He will never forget this moment. And he said that it was the most treasured moment of his heart. And he also went on to say that it might have been a dream of the rapture. Okay, and in this next dream that Brother Armando had, he saw Obama face-to-face. And he saw that he was the Antichrist. And Obama said to him, I know that you are a member of the 144,000. And Obama went on to say to him, I know who you are. And let me say this, okay? I have also had multiple dreams of Obama as the Antichrist. I know many people have as well. And I'm not going to get into it right now, but I have seen personally that after the shift change that he will change forms He will change races even. Like he won't look the way he does at all. His whole face, I've seen that. His face, his nationality, everything will be different. And I saw how people who hate him now will love him once he changes his skin color and things like that. They will completely love him then. I'm not going to get into that right now. I'll see if I can find some of those videos as well that I've had about Obama being the Antichrist. But I want to get into this other thing that Brother Armando said as well. He said that Obama told him that he was a member of the 144,000. And this is not the first time that Brother Armando has been shown that. I will also put videos about that in the description box. And this is also not the first time that Obama has come to other people as well in their dreams as the Antichrist, threatening them and telling them, like, I know who you are and things of this nature. I talked about years ago that he came to my youngest daughter the same way as well. But with her, it wasn't a dream. It was a very powerful, open vision. And he came to her threatening her. I'll see if I can find out, and I'm not going to get into all of that right now. I don't recall ever having a dream of him threatening me per se, but I just have heard of a lot of other people having those dreams. So anyway, in this next dream that Brother Armando had, he saw people coughing up blood in great quantities. And then immediately after they were coughing up blood, they died. They just dropped dead. And he said that this dream was very severe. And this is not the first time we have seen this prophetically as well. These dreams that he's had are a lot of confirmation for things that I have seen, for things that other people have seen prophetically. I have had many, many dreams of people really, really sick and just dropping dead. Anyway, I want to get into this last dream that he had. And in this dream, he said that he was driving his wife's car through the hills of East L.A. with his old best friend, Jesus. But now he said that his best friend is Jesus Christ. And in the dream, people were popping out of their houses and some people were coming out of side streets and they were shooting at them, him and his friend Jesus, from every direction. And he went on to say that he told his friend, hey, You are a gun collector. Shoot at them. And then his friend replied back to him, I don't have my guns with me. And then he said to his friend, shoot at them. 
And then his friend Jesus repeated back to him, I don't have a gun. And later he said that he noticed that the bullets were turning to dust upon impact and any damage that was caused by the bullets striking the vehicle were supernaturally fixed immediately by the Lord Jesus Christ. Then he said a van pulled in front of them and multiple shooters started to fire at them. And that's when his spirit was lifted from the vehicle. And in that moment, he looked at the vehicle and saw that there were angel wings that were covering the windshield. Amen. And he saw that the bullets were hitting the angel wings. Because remember, he said that these bullets were hitting the vehicle and they were turning into dust upon impact and any damage to the vehicle was immediately fixed. And so he saw that it was intervention by the angel wings. And then he went on to say that the van that was in front of them that was shooting at them was thrown off the side of a hill and into the Pacific Ocean by the angel wings. And he said that his spirit then went on into heaven. Amen. So this was a really wonderful dream of God showing him the protection that he has in Christ Jesus. Amen. I pray that these dreams have been a blessing to you all. I love you so much. God bless you. Bye.